Log recording. It's 3.31 in the morning, West Coast time, still the 30th of January, 2024. So three videos I've got right now for this morning are going to be putting me through the damn test. Not exactly looking forward to the damn shit, but, you know, it's not going to Daryl again. I was trying to tell him what the hell was going on because I was reacting to a damn video he was doing. And things just... I had to share. I had to get this shit off my damn chest because I didn't know how to fuck to deal with this shit. It's one thing I'm doing a, an audio log for this damn thing. is pouring out my guts for the video. So well, I think I needed to do this one. Still do. I'm still scared shitless of a lot of things. And I'm still pissed off. But the thing is, I still have to confront the anger that I had. And still have. But the anger is a hell of a lot of fear. And out of trust. And out of letting this crap go. Because it's still kicking my ass on this one. It's still kicking my ass on this one. And I don't need to do this shit to myself. I really don't want to. I don't have to. I can still make the choice of not doing this damn crap. He's talking about his own damn recovery and my own damn recovery. Hell of a lot different, but it's still the same damn shit. We're still fucked up in our heads. But me, I had held out to a hell of a lot of fear, grief, anger, but a hell of a lot of anger. Oh my God, I didn't have a lot of anger. Talking about this damn shit, getting off my damn, you know, just getting it off, period. It it was necessary. It's necessary. Because, hell, if I don't do this damn crap, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing these days. It's supposed to be the anniversary of my natal birth. And I feel more of it's like a sobriety birthday instead of anything else. Program, that's what they celebrate more. It's not just a physical birthday. It's when they got into the program. When they got sick and tired and sick and tired. Or they're, trying to, they're trying to make a new start in their life by using a 12 and 12. Turn their lives over to a care of a power greater than themselves that can restore them to sanity. And I was pissed off at God for a hell of a long time. I still got to get past the damn thing. I still got to own it that maybe there's still elements of me still pissed off at God for one reason or another. He's been trying to keep my ass going. He's been trying to keep me Staying sober and staying that way. I'm scared shitless of Friday. Friday I got to go over to the doctor's office and see what kind of decomp I've got in my body right now. And me, I don't trust and like the medical establishment at this point over here. But at this point, this is going to be a major walk of faith on this one. At least keep me safe. At least keep me under his wings. I'm scared shitless of what's happening on Friday. Because I gotta face some things I don't want to, but I got to. I'll have no choice. And it may be sobering, and it may scare the fuck out of me. Or it may not be. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to it. I never look forward to the damn doctor fist. It's bad enough I'm doing the therapy shit right now as it is. But this crap, this crap is scaring the fuck out of me. This crap is scaring the fuck out of me. I've been postponing it for a hell of a long while. I didn't want to deal with it. And I've told my therapist about it. She's already got it on a record. And maybe the doctor's already read that record, I hope. Hopefully he can understand that I have a hell of a lot of anger and a hell of a lot of resentment. Not towards him specifically, but maybe towards God, maybe towards something else. I mean, I have a hell of a lot of anger going on. A lot of frustration, a lot of confusion, a lot of being pissed off right now. I 
shouldn't have it. I shouldn't have it at all, but I have it. And it's scaring the fuck out of me. It's scaring me right now that I don't even understand what the fuck's going on in me. Except a hell of a lot of denial. Why should I be denying something like this? Because I don't want to deal with it? Yeah, denying the, denying something because I didn't go to the doctors all the damn time to take care of my own ugly ass. But now I have to. I got a choice. My body's going through a hell of a lot of changes I don't like. And I'm the one that caused it all. Or maybe it's genetic, or maybe it's both. I don't know. But we'll get the low down. And I have to go through the test again. I'm not looking forward to get my arm stabbed. Blood drilled out of my damn arm. And I'm not looking forward to that either. I gotta go through that shit, don't I? I also gotta go through the shit test. Oh, God, it's embarrassing. Just get a stick, get pieces of crap, put it into a damn test tube, and give it to these assholes. The fuck's going on with me right now? I'm scared enough anyway. But they gotta find out what's going on in the colon, see if I got any colon cancer or anything else going on there. Schedule me for a colonoscopy. I don't want the damn thing. No one's gonna take care of me during this time of shit. Nobody's gonna be with me. I'm all alone, so now I gotta deal with this crap? No. But eventually that damn thing may kill me. If I'm not careful. It's a hell of a lot of things I don't want to go through when I'm an adult age. I have to. I'll have a thing to think, on a, think about on the day of an anniversary. Yesterday I treated my birthday a little bit better. I cried a little bit, but, you know, reacted to some stuff. But it didn't turn the day into a lousy day. It was a good day yesterday. But now I got a chance for this particular day to be a lousy one? Go figure. See, these are my thoughts and my feelings right now as it is. I dealt with a lot of anger trying to blame God for a hell of a lot of crap in my life. Fear, confusion, misunderstanding. And I was still pissed off at him. Held on to the damn anger. Held on to the damn fear of misunderstanding. I just held on to the anger because it seemed like the only damn thing to do. No wonder God and I ain't close. No, because if I was a lot closer to God, maybe I'd be able to feel and think and uh, you know, think his thoughts a bit. Try to really stay with it in life. And I feel like I'm screwing things up left and right in my life. I don't blame him, I blame me. And that doesn't help me much either, does it? No, it doesn't. Dave kept asking me in my in life, and then also in death, he still haunts me on that one. There's my faith and trust in God. Huh. It needs to be worked on, that's what it needs to be. I'm reminded. I'm reminding myself on this damn crap. God ain't crap. God's never crap. So I gotta deal with it. But at least... Maybe if I see him, he won't be so pissed off as much at me. Or me at him, for that matter. Dealing with Ma and David and everybody else I cared about. I was fearing this day. I was afraid of this day. I was afraid of the anniversary date. You know, people look forward to doing stuff on their birthday. Some people have plans or not plans at all. And me, I was just pissed off and scared and just not quite sure how to deal with the day. Because of the number, because of fear, because of phobias, because of some crap going on through the head concerning about, I'm going to die after the age of 60. Well, shit, I could die today. What the fuck? I could die today. What the fuck? You know, what else is new? And if I get through today, then I get through today. Then I get through tomorrow. Then the next day. Then the next day. And not worry about it as much. 
they have had that fear and phobia going through this damn head at this point over here. Well, I still got to deal with mine. And I still got to deal with my relationship being built a little bit better with God on this one. Because if I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I need to really fully trust in God on this one because I don't know who else to trust. So that's God's will, not mine. I'm screwing things up left and right. I know it. It probably thinks I'm a full I'm idiot, and maybe I am. Or maybe I'm not, and I have to realize that. Wake up to the fact that I'm still trying to deal with shit on shit's terms. You know, things happen. I have to deal with that. Either by consequences, by fault, I don't know what the hell. But the guy didn't put me on this earth just to be carefree or not give a shit about anything else or I'll not have many problems or something. Uh, he put me on this planet for a reason. Even if it's just to live. Is that good enough? I should be. So I'll hear from people left and right, one way or another. What they think, what they feel about God. Okay, fine. And if there's some message in there I need to hear, I'll hear it. And if not, I don't. But I can't stress about it. I felt a hell of a lot of anger and a hell of a lot of stress and frustration I got. And not to mention that myself and everything else. Now what do I do? Uh, shave an haircut? <laughs> I'll need one. I need one. Anyway, I had to get the shit up my damn chest. So, Four videos sent out. I'll have to label them a little bit later.